Yeah, Josh, that protest over in Moore Square earlier was just organized yesterday, and with just 24 hours noticed, it still drew hundreds and hundreds of people. What we're calling for is a ceasefire. What we're calling for is a de-escalation. A large crowd gathering Sunday in downtown Raleigh to protest the treatment of Palestinians and support those suddenly caught in the middle of a war between Israel and Hamas. Rania Masri helped organize the rally. It's unbelievable that I have to say this, but we are people too. Our children bleed. Our mothers cry and we have the right to defend ourselves. The rally comes the same weekend that the Israeli government issued an ultimatum to residents in northern Gaza, leave the area for point south or risk being killed. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, more than 2,600 Palestinians have died in the last week in the conflict, while Israeli leadership says more than 1,300 of their civilians have died. Hashem Meriesh is the son of Palestinian refugees. We're just people. We're people who want to do what everybody all over the world wants to do. We want to live, we want to have families, we want to be able to enjoy our freedoms, we want to be able to grow and live and plan for the future. We just want to be humans like everybody, treated like human beings like everybody else. IDF veteran Steven Rosenberg didn't attend the protest, but met us in Raleigh to discuss this past week and where he thinks things go from here. It was a big segment of Israel that's peace now, land for peace. Let's, let's negotiate with the Palestinians. That is all gone, and I have no idea what the future is. Rosenberg says he believes the time for negotiations has passed. There is no room for a negotiated solution. This is going to be an unconditional surrender. As the war rages on, the message in Moore Square rooted in the sad reality playing out in the Middle East. Might be too much to ask for equality, but it's not too much to ask for humanity. Today's protest was peaceful. There were no counter protesters earlier in Moore Square. Unfortunately, over thing, overseas, things are only ratcheting up as Israeli officials say that a ground invasion of Gaza is imminent. Josh.